first graders, today we're going to continue with the case of the marshmallow monster, chapter two, a tent with hiccups. We got to the campground right on time. That is, if your idea of right on time includes a flat tire and getting lost in the middle of nowhere. That's a place right after my dad says, I know a little shortcut. It's a few miles past, I don't need a map. Naturally, we were the last to arrive at the campground. After another hour, we finished setting up. I was going to share a tent with Ralphie and Joey. My brothers had their own tent. That's when I noticed the tent beside us. It wasn't a tent exactly. It was more like a crumpled up lump on the ground. I looked closer. It was moving and muttering. Ooh, ouch, uh, what the, uh, help, uh, I'm trapped. Get me out of this thing. Joey pointed, I think it's alive. And it's got the hiccups, Ralphie noted. I poked it with a stick. Anybody in there? A voice answered, yes, it's me, Stringbean. Uh, I've been trapped in here for hours. Stringbean Noonan, I thought. That was a surprise. I didn't expect to see him here. Stringbean's real name was Jasper, and he wasn't the outdoor type. Hold on, let me find the zipper, Ralphie said. He fumbled around for a moment, then zip. In a moment, Jasper crawled out, red-faced and sweaty. He kicked the heavy nylon tent. That thing, <laughs> it nearly ate me. We all laughed. Stringbean shrugged. Don't look at me, he replied. I don't know anything about camping. I wouldn't even be here if my dad didn't make me come. I'd rather be eating cheese puffs and watching Nickelodeon. Stringbean Noonan was the kind of kid who was afraid of his own shadow. He was afraid of bees, thunder, horses, lightning, and heights. Now he could add something else to his list. Tents. The poor guy was afraid of tents. Tomorrow's chapter, chapter three, is called To Build a Fire.